Hey guys, we all need to create good looking, sexy graphics for our social networks and for our content marketing. But we get it, you're not a designer and what you create might look like So here it is, a foolproof DIY four step process to make all your graphics look amazing. <laughs> all right, Nicole, let's do this. This is a tutorial for people who have zero eye for design. So all you have to do is copy exactly what we do and you can create something that looks half decent. We promise you can't go wrong unless you ignore us and create something awful. Then I'll have to set Pete on you. <sighs> what? Scary there, Pete. <laughs> What's so good about this method is that there's only four steps to follow. This method is perfect for creating graphics and quotes to promote things like your blogs, your webinars, any upcoming events that you're doing, any kind of new product launches, anything else, Pete? Et cetera. Et cetera. I think et cetera <laughs> covers the lot. Ready to rock! Let's get to it. We're going to be using Canva for this because it is free, easy and Awesome, but you can apply this tutorial to any design kit that's better than MS Paint. Stay away from that bad boy. Firstly, you're going to want to be using the correct canvas size. Now Canva has a load of templates for specific social networks, but if you want a one size fits all kind of thing, go square. It works on all the main platforms including Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Element one is finding the perfect background photo. Bold photography is so hot right now, so you need a great photo to set the scene. It's nice if it is relevant, but to be honest, we just want something eye-catching. Canva does give you a range of free photos that you can choose from to become your background image, but two of the great sites for finding great free images that we like are gratisography.com, has a ton of different images we can Some download and ones. use. Yeah. <laughs> And another one, if you don't want photos that are as wacky or as colourful, is unsplash.com, which has some really, really amazing photos, which are free to just download and use as you wish. So find an image you like, upload it to Canva, and just drag it out across the whole canvas to become your background image. Element two is creating a branded colour overlay. Now we've got our photo, we want to brand it. So we put a colour overlay on it. It's really important that you know your brand colour hex code, which is the hashtag followed by six characters. For example, our orange is hashtag FF9900. So now what you want to do is to create this box and make sure it covers the whole photo. And then what we want to do is take the transparency and crank that down all the way to around 60 to 70% depending on the color and the photo. All right, now we're rocking and rolling. Element three is to add on your text in your correct brand font. So we are going to use our branded fonts to write over the photo now. But here's a rule, we are always going to use white font. Unless your brand colour is super light, like a yellow, white font always looks a million times better on coloured backgrounds. If you do have a light brand colour instead, then use a dark grey instead of a black, because this will look tons better. But as a general rule of thumb, we are always using a white text on a coloured background. Right, Pete? Right. Canva has some built-in interesting ways of laying out text which look really nice and break away from the boring standards. Choose one that you like, make it the correct size, and then change the fonts to fonts that you use within your business. For example, a font that we use is Oswald. Element four is add your logo. You want your logo in a format that works well on a colored background. If you don't have this, then ask the person who made your logo. You need at least a PNG that has a transparent background. But the best logos that work on colored backgrounds are usually white. Add this to the design at the bottom under the text and you might also want to add in your website address too. Again, we're keeping everything white on the coloured background. And voila, you're done. 
download that beauty. See how easy it is to create simple graphics that look amazing using just these four elements. Boom! That was a high five, by the way. <laughs> Simples, right? And in true Blue Peter style, here's some we made earlier. I think I might pick the music next time. Really hope that was helpful, guys. Now, if you want any more inspiration, then as always, we have a free download for you. Andrew and Pete's Canva Copy Special. So this video went through one type of design, but in this download, we have loads more for you to go and for you to copy, for you to change up to make them on brand for yourself. All you have to do is follow the instructions as you did in this video, and you'll have loads more different styles available. Just remember to copy exactly what we do and you'll be fine. If you like this video, please do comment, subscribe, like, share, tell the world about it. <laughs> we don't ask for much, do we? He's Andrew. He's Pete. See, See you next time. time.